Now to the New Jersey transit strike threat. The workers union has said March 13th as their deadline. This morning, NJ Transit announced its plan if there's a walkout and it does not look pretty. CBS 2's Meg Baker live in Secaucus with details for us this noon. Meg? But officials just announced their contingency plan in the case that a deal with a strike looming, NJ Transit officials have a plan to help some, but not all, rail commuters. The plan includes increased bus service, as well as path and ferry service. But they say buses alone don't have the capacity to replicate the rail system. A key component of the plan is utilizing strategically located park rides to provide extremely limited peak hour only bus service to New York or locations that offer connecting services to New York. Parking at these locations will be free. Added service will run from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then again at 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. All tickets will be honored. MetLife Stadium to the Port Authority bus terminal. PNC Art Center in Homedale to New York City via Academy bus. Hamilton Rail Station to Newark Penn Station to transfer to PATH. Metro Park Rail Station to the Harrison Path Station, and our Ramsey Route 17 Rail Station to the Lincoln Harbor Ferry Terminal in Weehawken. This plan will only be able to carry 38% of New York bound daily NJ Transit riders. That's 40,000 people, far short of the 105,000 people who take trains daily. Don't expect a smooth ride. Bus service across the entire system is expected to experience overcrowding and delays. Traffic engineer Sam Schwartz advises commuters to carpool. All of you know what the Lincoln Tunnel looks like in the morning or the Holland Tunnel in the morning. It is not a pretty picture. Now imagine adding traffic flows of 10,000 more vehicles that will have a domino effect through the region. Negotiations continue down in Washington, D.C. tomorrow with the National Mediation Board. Now, it is important to note that this contingency plan is for New York City bound commuters. So, if you take New Jersey Transit to get to a location in New Jersey, it may be the case you have to take a bus into the city and then turn around to get back out to Jersey. We'll have another update coming up at 5 to see how this will affect your commute. For now, we're live in Secaucus. Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Okay.